So what's up guys, this is Karthik and in this video we'll be discussing two problems. Both of these problems are very hard, at least for me. And one of the problem comes from code forces, the other comes from lead code. Both of these problems are actually the same problem, just a slight variant of each other. So if you're able to solve one of them, you'll probably be able to solve both of them. Since the problem at code forces is a bit harder, we'll be solving that instead of the lead code problem. I'll close this tab now. So this problem that comes from code forces here is Vasya and binary string and someone recommended me to try this problem out in comments and I thought why not. I enjoyed solving this problem a lot and uh, therefore I came up with this video. This is a 2400 rated problem on code forces and I hope that we will be enjoying this video now. So you can go through the problem once then I'll explain it in my words. Now the problem says that uh, there is a guy Vasya who's, who has been given a binary string. So a binary string is any string that consists of only zeros and ones. So this is a binary string. Right. Now he will be performing some operations on the string and that operation consists of taking a substring out of the string and that substring consists of the same digit basically a substring consisting of only zeros or only ones and he can pick such a substring and delete it from the string. So maybe he can go ahead and choose the substring. The substring consists of only ones and he may delete this. He will get a score for deleting this substring and then the remaining string left would be this thing, right? Oh, uh, yep. And then maybe he could delete this substring and he, and then he'll get some score for deleting this substring here. And then the remaining substring left with him would be this one remaining string left with him and so on and so forth. He'll keep deleting some substring and at the end he'll be left with an empty string. You need to find out what is the maximum score that he can make. And when he deletes the substring of length X, he makes a score AX. If you delete a substring of length two, you will make a score equal to A2 and this A array has been given to you here. So if you delete a string of length I, you'll make a score AI a substring of length AI. All you have to make sure is that you delete the uh, substring that consists of the same digits. Let's take one example and then we'll move to the solution. Also the constraints here is that the length of the string is at most 100. That's good. That allows us with for a solution of n cube, n square, n to the power 4 or anything. So that's good. Uh, let's take one example here. One, 0, 1, 0, 1. And the scores for deleting a substring of length 1 is 3, length 2, 10, length 3, 15, 15, 15. Now I can go ahead and delete this one here and I'll get a score equal to 3. And I'll be left with this substring. Then I can delete this portion here. I'll get this score for deleting a substring of length 2, that is 10. And I'll be left with this string. Now I can delete these two together. I'll get another 10. And overall my score is 23, which is the output. Similarly, you can go ahead and try what is the answer for this. And now we can probably go ahead and move to the solution. The solution consists of a number of observations and without those observations, it's almost not that straightforward to solve the problem. So let's consider a binary string now. Okay, this is your binary string. Now, if you're going to delete some uh, z uh, uh, some zeros or some ones from it, a substring of zeros or ones, let's think about deleting the zero here. Okay, I might delete this guy here and then I'll be left with triple one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, 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 and one, one, right? Now I can go ahead and delete again something from these three zeros or some from somewhere else. Now the claim here is that if I delete anything from here, I can go ahead and delete this entire group of zeros in whatever order that makes um, gives me a better score without touching any other group. And by group, I mean a, con a group of consecutive ones or zeros. So if I think about the binary string as uh, a number of groups, so group one, group two, group three and so on. So this is group one. This is group two, two zeros. This is group three, 
group 4 and group 5. The claim here is that either you don't touch a group at all for now or if you touch a group that means if you delete something from one of the groups for example if I delete the 0 from group 4 then if you delete something from a group you delete that entire group in whatever order which gives you more profit without touching the other groups. So the claim is that either do not touch a group at all for now do not touch a group at all do not touch a group or delete it entirely delete it entirely in whatever order that makes more sense but if you have touched g4 you need to make sure that you uh, delete the all the zeros from g4 before touching any other group in whatever order that makes more sense so you might delete one zero here and then you might delete one more zero and then you might delete two zeros or whatever thing that makes more sense you might delete one zero and three zeros but the idea is that if you delete something from this group you will focus your you will stay focused on this group you'll get the maximum that you can get from this particular group before you go ahead on solving for any other group now many might ask why is this correct right because i did just claim it it's not proved yet so you might ask why is this particular thing correct so if i am touching a group basically if i'm trying to save a group the only benefit i would ever get by saving a group for now is if that group combines later on with another group consisting of the same digits so if i'm saving g4 for now i'm probably hoping that g4 will be able to combine with g2 in the future and that is the only benefit of saving g4 otherwise there's no benefit you get from saving g4 you can just go ahead and delete it the only way of getting a benefit by saving g4 is that the hope that in the future we might be able to combine it with g2 and get a higher score but that makes that g3 you have to delete it entirely and it doesn't make sense that you delete one element from g3 and then you will delete few elements from g4 because either g3 will combine with g5 to give you a better score or g4 combines with g2 but both of them will is not possible so if you're touching a group it's better to just get rid of that entire group already or if you don't want to get rid of the entire group yet hoping that it might be able to combine with some other group in the future then don't touch it for now because you will be saving more zeros or more ones so that you're, you get a larger group in the future okay that's the idea till here now what if I choose to delete a group entirely for example I choose to delete a group g4 entirely okay so g4 is these four zeros what is the best benefit that I can get out of these four zeros I can delete uh, any length substring from inside here right so imagine that you are deleting a substring of length n what is the best score that you can get by deleting these n length string in whatever order you want but you have a length of n and you know that a portion of length i or basically if you delete a substring of length i from here then you get a cost related to it as ai right so the best score that you can ever make by deleting a, subst a substring of length n or a group of length n is nothing but the rod cutting problem so if you're deleting a particular group of length n you can just apply rod cutting uh, solution on that and you can find out what's the best answer for deleting a group of length n so that's nothing but the rod cutting problem and that's okay rod cutting hopefully you must be clear with uh, otherwise i recommend that you try out my other videos at the channel but for now you can just agree with me that the best score for deleting a group of length n is the rod cutting problem applied on a rod of length n given that a piece of length i gives you a score ai this is given in the question cool till here no, all good now let's think about the groups this is group one group two group three so on till maybe the nth group now i want to maximize my total score so as we discussed at g1 i have two options either i delete it right either i delete it entirely or i save it for the future now if i'm deleting it entirely then i'll be like okay get get whatever is the best you can get for g1 basically the rod cutting problem applied to the length of g1 okay get whatever is the answer for g1 that's good if i if i'm uh, thinking about getting rid of g1 in that case 
you get whatever is the best you can get by deleting G1 and whatever order, basically the rod cutting problem on it. And then you'll be like, okay, solve the same problem for the groups from G2, G2 to G5. Just solve the same problem from G2 to Gn, right? Okay. The other option with me is that I don't want to delete G1 right now. I, I wish to save G1 and in the hope that I might combine G1 with G3 or maybe I might combine G1 with G5 or G7. And uh, why am I saying that I'll combine it with uh, G3, 5, 7, 9? It's because that uh, if G1 is a group of zeros, then definitely G2 is a group of ones and these two cannot be combined together. Or if G1 is a group of ones, then G2 is a group of zeros. But G3 will be the same uh, group, basically a group of the same digits as G1. So I might wish to combine G1 with either G3 or G5 or G7, something like that, right? So let's uh, discover the second option. I'm not deleting G1. I'm hoping that uh, maybe if I combine G1 with G3, I get a better answer. So that means if I'm combining G1 with G3, the portion in the middle needs to collapse. It needs to go away. You need to delete it. And you need to delete it in a way so that you get the best possible benefit out of it, right? So you'll be like, okay, whatever is the best answer from G2 to G2, you get that answer for yourself. And then you go ahead and solve for G3 till Gn. But now G3 is a bigger group. G3 is not the number of uh, G3 is not of the same length anymore because G1 has been combined with G3 now. So you have some extras, right? Given that G3 has these extras with it, what is the best answer then? Let's consider one third possibility. Let me just erase this just for clarity sake. I'll re re remove this first option. The uh, Let's consider one more option, right? One more option might be that instead of combining G1 with G3, I hope that maybe if I combine G1 with G5, something good happens. So if I'm trying to combine G1 with G5, the portion from G2 to G4 has to collapse. And I'll be like, okay, get whatever is the best you can get from G2 to G4. So it's basically the same problem all over again but applied to a much smaller uh, much smaller uh, range of groups, G2 to G4. And then I'll be like, okay, good. Now, what is the best you can get from G2 to Gn? Given that you have some extra zeros, basically the length of G5 is greater now because G1 has been added to G5. So you do have some extras over here and these extras are equal to the, to the length of G1. And if you see, I could similarly think about combining G1 with G7, G1 with G9, and so on and if you see this is giving us a good intuition of a dp solution so i'll just define my dp now so dp of group i till group j what is the best answer that you can get by using the groups from group i till group j all these consecutive groups from i till j given that the ith group has some extras with it and this is um, best possible score for groups from GI till GJ given that GI has some extra digits combined to it that are equal to extra. So this gives you that your final answer is going to be DP of the first group till the nth group if there are a total of n groups and the first group has nothing extra. This is going to be the best possible score for the entire string given that the first group has nothing extra with it and now for the recurrence it's basically either either delete the ith group entirely so if you do that then you get the rod cutting of the ith group mm, size of the ith group size of gi and then you're like okay what's the best answer from i plus one till j given that i plus one group ha group has nothing extra or the other option is that you don't remove the ith group yet and you, you are like okay what is best from dp i plus 1 to i plus 1 because you are combining the ith group with the i plus 2th group so you are like okay collapse the middle uh, portion in between from i and i to i plus 2 whatever is bet in between collapse it for that you will get this score and then you will be like okay cool now I will be like from i plus 2 till j whatever is best and i plus 2 has some extras now the extras that were there before these one plus whatever is the size of the group ith group so plus gi 
and these are your currencies that are basically going to be there plus three would be dp from i plus one till maybe if you combine i and uh, what can you say i i plus two i i plus four let's say you combine i and i plus four in that case you'll be like okay co collapse the portion from i plus one till i plus three also these are going to be zero here nothing extra is there and then from i i plus four till j and extra plus gi so guys hopefully this portion is clear i'll just show you the code and with this we might be able to wrap the video then if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comments but after seeing the code most likely it would be much more clear to you guys also i don't know why i did not log in i'll just quickly log in yep so this is my submission and this best best length thing is here is the rod uh, rod cutting thing what is the best uh, best score that you can make with a group of size i best lane at i say so this dp is the one that we described dp from ith group to jth group given that the ith group has these many extras if there is no group return zero if you have already solved the sub problem then return what is the answer then answer is delete the ith group along with all the extras that the ith group had see what is the what is the rod cutting for that and then solve for the remaining groups given that the i plus one group gets nothing extra that is okay here now you are like okay uh, what i'll do is i do not delete the ith group but i combine the ith group with hopefully the i plus 2th group or the i plus 4th group or i plus 6th group and collapse the middle portion this is collapsing the middle portion and this is combining the ith group with the i plus mx 2 to m group and m goes from basically 1 to any num any huge number you are combining the ith group with this group and collapsing the middle portion and that's it you can store the answer here hopefully this helped you let me also show you the portion where i calculate the rod cutting so this function evaluates this is nothing but rod cut okay i am not going to explain this one now and this portion takes in the string and evaluate the groups i store in the groups here using the string so for a string like this the groups created will be three two um, one two and one hopefully guys this helped you make sure that you like share and subscribe and i'll keep bringing more hard problems maybe if you like these also for any doubt let me know in the comment if you if you want to say thanks also do let me know in the comments okay guys bye